Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video I'm going to be showing you five simple steps to making your Windows computer faster. And I'm also going to be talking about some other tips and tricks to do this. Now this is a video based on this original post I made on techhut.us about this topic. So there's going to be a link in the description so you can check out this thread, like it, tweet it, do whatever you want to do. So first some tips. Now, one good tip, I know it's probably not going to be possible for some people due to finances and basic things like that, but a good thing to do if you have the resources is to have two hard drives on your computer. Have one, I would say like 30 gigs or so with your operating system on it, have it at a decent speed or a fast enough hard drive, probably one of the newer flash hard drives, and have your operating system on that and then have another hard drive I would say a terabyte or more with your files and your programs on it. I'll make your operating system run smoother and better and be less cluttered. Now if you want to if you're looking to increase your gaming performance like your frames per second and things like that you might want to look into getting a better graphics card. Now the first step to this is to do a simple cleanup so go through your computer's documents, photos, videos and other files and delete the ones you do not need. So that means just go to something like your documents. And as you can see, I have a lot of crap in here, and these are just screenshots. So if I didn't need any of these, which I really don't, I just delete all of them because they're just taking up space on my computer. And then we can re empty the recycle bin later. The next step is to uninstall unneeded or unwanted software. Now to do this, you're just gonna go to your start menu, go to control panel and go to uninstall a program and here you'll get a list of all of the programs on your computer and you could just go through this list and uninstall ones that you either never use or never plan on using such as this Logitech vid right here I can uninstall that because I'm never ever going to use that so that's just wasting space on my computer taking up things in the registry and just being a waste of space now that's one other thing you could do then we have some C cleaner things first of all is to get C cleaner and do a clean of your computer now I have C cleaner so you just go to C cleaner to get C cleaner you just either go here go all the way down and click right here and then it'll take you to this website which you can download C cleaner and get things you need to get now here this will clear your history your cookies and all that I recommend doing this once you might not want to do this too much because it does clear your passwords and things like that so one thing you do is just keep everything checked as is. Don't check anything in advance unless if you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, you can get rid of your desktop shortcuts if you'd like to. That's easy to do. You don't really need to check that. So anything that's not already checked and you don't know what it is, just don't check it. Other thing is if you don't want like your history or cookies erased, you can just check those like this or check them. It's pretty self-explanatory and simple. You could also go to applications which will show your other web browsers and other internet related and multimedia applications which it can clean. So if I analyze the data real quick, clean it next time it's going to remove about 17 gigs of stuff. Uh, 16, that's not really that much because 16 gigs of things are in my recycle bin. So it does. it's going to remove about a gig of just files in random locations as you can see. Uh, Windows Microsoft Search is holding about a megabyte megabyte of unneeded data and that's just a good way to clean up some things. Now the next thing you do is clean up your registry which is unbelievably simple. All you have to do is go to CCleaner and click registry. Click we'll have everything checked. Click scan for issues and then it will scan your entire registry for things that well there's multiple things that could have m missing shared DLL files just unused file extensions as you can see here I have PHP and stuff so it's going to remove files like that get sort of installers fonts that are broken and just other things that are generally wasting space in your computer now as you can see all this is wasted space on the computer and clogging up the registry so you just click fix selected issues you have an option to create a backup if you want to you could do that to feel safe I'm just going to say no and I'm going to click fix all issues and close and last but not least you can defrag your computer. Now this is recommended to do like I would say once every six months or so you might want to defrag your computer 
This may take a couple hours, so it's, I recommend doing this overnight. Just before you go to bed, close out everything, make sure nothing's running in the background. Go to your search, type in defrag, and then this will come up, and you're just going to want to um, click defrag, defragment disk. It'll bring up some other options, and you can start that. Actually, I'll show you real quick. Actually, no, it doesn't. It just automatically starts defragging it. Now, if you want to, you can get other software for this, so you can get the defragler from the same company that made the CCleaner program. So if I just get this real quick and show you what it looks like, it basically gives you a more in-depth look of the progress and things like that. It does the exact same job, and it's generally a good piece of software to have. I'll have all the links you need in the description. As you can see, it shows all the fragments, and my computer is pretty good when it com well, my hard drive is pretty good when it comes to the health. As you can see, it says good right there. Use space, free space gives you a drive map and everything you need. So that's some recommended software. So those are five little tips on making your computer run a little bit faster. Once again, if your computer is just drop dead slow, I recommend hardware improvements. And there, were, there is some information on hardware improvements on this thread. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe how you do. You can like and tweet and buffer and Google Plus and do all kinds of things to this article that we have on techout.us. Have a good day. I hope I helped you in some sort of way, and goodbye.